We have a couple of flywheels here. Why don't you tell me a little bit about these? Okay, this is one we have duplicated from the 1963 Corvette, the 327 Stingrays. Originally, this surface area would have only been 10 and a half inches and then tapers to the outside. This is a little 15 to 16 pound wheel. Uh, they used it very well in the road racing and things of that nature that Corvette was involved in in those days. It's made out of ductile iron, so it's like a steel flywheel, but it's much lighter than a steel flywheel. Mm. With the centrifugal forces taken off the outside with the scalloping, oh. now we can get the moment of inertia down, even though it's a steel type material. Right. And then on the back, I notice you have quite a lot of empty space. Yes, that's right. <laughs> we, we have cast it all out. We have for the early type cranks, which this one is, we have the offset weights. Then we have for the larger two-piece seal, we have them with the zero balance. What's, uh, what the beauty of this whole thing is, is we have expanded the surface. If you turn it back around, we have expanded this surface out. So now with a 10.95 cover that bolts to the 10 and a half bolt pattern, right. we can put almost 11 inch disc on it. Wow. So we can increase the holding power with still a light, oh, small compact I unit. I see what you're saying. But then the ultimate is this type of a flywheel. Right. Okay, Ooh. this has a steel insert in the middle of it. Right. 6061 T6. Nice. This is the, uh, the two piece seal crank, where that one was the one piece seal. Okay. Uh, these are fully replaceable here, mm -hmm. 12 pounds roughly. Oof. So we're four pounds lighter than the, than the ductile, wow. but we can also make it lighter if we had to, and if the guy wants to pay for it, we can scallop all the way around on the outside, mm. both sides. On all of our flywheels, we have two different places on the GM flywheel so that we can bolt the weight mm. onto the back, go from zero balance to 400, 383s, right. 454s, 502s, so th this one here, it'll rev a little bit quicker, Yes. come off the corners a little better, but then when you come off the throttle, it'll actually give you a little bit better engine braking. Yeah, you don't want to put this on a street-driven, low-horsepower okay. car because it pulls the motor down because you, you don't store any energy with it. I see what you're saying. So the beauty is when you get the horsepower up or you're going to go out and road race it, oval track race it, you want the moment of inertia down so you get the weight out of it, the diameter down, and it's perfect. The kit cars. Right. Okay, the little Cobra kit cars, particularly. Or the Lister. Okay, even if they put a big block in it, mm -hmm. you put aluminum flywheels in it because they only weigh 2,400 pounds. Right. And they're able to pull through it. Oh, yeah.